I see why you've been quiet. Good morning. I've got yoga with Adrian on the TV and my yoga mat is down there. We're gonna see if we can do yoga this morning, although <laughs> she had just told me where to stand to start and Thomas brought up the <laughs> Uh, take out sushi from last night. <laughs> it's 8 a.m. I think. Yeah, 8.14. Like, can I eat this? No, you may not. <laughs> so, usually I do yoga after Thomas goes to sleep, but I have no respite today, and I would like to do this plus tonight's, and then do it twice again tomorrow to catch up. So, we'll see how this goes. You know, when it's loud, and then all of a sudden it's very quiet, and you wonder, what is your child up to? That's what we're gonna go see. Oh. Oh, just sitting here like a good boy, Mom. Nothing to see here. You know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Kicks me away. Well, at least everyone. <gasps> I see why you've been quiet. I was upstairs working. <laughs> Oh, Thomas. There's sushi all over my couch. BRB. I'm just sitting at my desk. I finished some client work and edited tonight's video, but I've been hoarding some uh, empties, so I thought I would show you those. Uh, some things that I have finished recently, some products. I finished the Veganese hair conditioner from Lush. This was very nice. I would buy this again. It's got lemon and seaweed and then some herbs, etc., in there as well. Smells really lemony and fresh and was lovely. Went through another one of these, this Ethiopian green coffee cream from The Body Shop, which I think this might be my fourth one now. I'm gonna hold off on buying it again just because it is so pricey, but it is really nice. Finished the Marcel Flawless Skin Fusion Foundation in Buff Beige. This has been the foundation I've been using now for probably two years and really, really liking it. Highly recommend. I think I'm going to try their concealer next, actually. And then this was in my 2017 favorites, the uh, Paul Mitchell Tea Tree Hair and Scalp Treatment. 10 out of 10 recommend. Will buy this again for sure. Uh, I have the shampoo still in my shower because I always go through conditioner faster. Faster, It has a really nice minty smell to it and it also like a tingly, refreshing, minty... I was going to say aftertaste. <laughs> Effect. So it's very soothing and lovely. This is the Acure Repairing Shampoo with Moroccan Argan Stem Cell and Argan Oil. A cure is a nice, like, vegan, gluten-free, sulfate, paraben, cruelty-free, petroleum-free, synthetic-free, silicone-free, all things free. And this was nice. Um, it doesn't, like, stand out, but it was good. And I like to support that brand because I like what they stand for. I finished another of the Evo Water Killer Dry Shampoos, which I've talked about ad nauseum. This is a pricier dry shampoo, but it's so good. I'm back to using the Batiste again, and it's not as good. Like, this is 100% the best dry shampoo I've ever tried. Uh, an essential oil. We finished an entire one of the lavenders from the Now brand, and I'm probably already halfway through. Lavender is my most used essential oil for sure. It's calming, it's beautiful. This is the Kat Von D Locket Concealer that I finished. I liked this. Uh, I think I used this two or three times in a row. Kat Von D is really good. Right now I'm using the Smashbox one. I don't know, I have bags on bags. We were up at three. Like, I don't, I don't know if there's ever going to be a concealer that's that fantastic. This took me forever to use up, but it was great. I like the 24-hour moisture cream from Bath and Body Shop, and this is the Hello Beautiful fragrance. It says it's 24-hour moisture. There's no way, but it is really nice. Oh, and then this is the last thing, the Agave Lip Balm from Bite. 
I use the lip mask. I have this, the lip mask in my bedside table drawer always, but I ha tried the balm for the first time. <laughs> Love it. 10 out of 10 recommend. So yeah, those are the empties that have been sitting in my desk. Gonna recycle those. And it's so nice out. I think I'm gonna stop working for a bit. It's so hard to work on the weekend. Um, so I feel bad, right, obviously. So I'm gonna take Thomas out for a bit. Could really use a nap today or just like a quiet lay down. I'm gonna try after lunch and see if he'll lay down. We've got salad for lunch, a nuked coffee. Thomas is having some peanut butter toast and some edamame. I'm hangry, friend. Not to sound like a broken record, but I'm just so proud of Thomas and his development. He is doing so incredibly well, that little boy of mine. He just showed me um, this cool app on his communication iPad to write letters and shapes and <coughs> nailed it and also did it for a very long time. Probably 18 months ago, two years ago, one of Thomas's goals at autism therapy was he would attend a task for like five minutes and that's no exaggeration. So I'm a proud parent and he's napping. What? So now, you know, I'm sure many of you can relate to this. Do you also nap? Or do you like get stuff done? Or just enjoy the quiet? It's good, because we're going out tonight. We're going to a hockey game tonight. So the fact that he's having a little nap a is great. Any parents relate when your house is quiet? Or if you have like roommates and your roommates are out? I don't even wanna put on Netflix. Finally found a perfect place for these beauties from one of you. And I put these up from one of you pretty I'm so happy with it I mean obviously when I was saying like am I gonna nap or am I gonna be productive you know me I'm gonna be productive it's much later it's 5 30 and we're in our pink look how cute we are hi this one naps for like three hours hi <laughs> Likes to hit the camera. Oh! Okay, we're gonna go to the hockey game. It's like a sit in your school section kind of situation, so it should be fun. I haven't been to a hockey game in two years, maybe three. We're at the V's game. Thomas is in the middle. Alicia's here. Yay. She's eating her french fries. Thomas is going between french fries and popcorn. French fries, popcorn. Look at this kid. <laughs> We're home. I, I'm really liking this color. Like a light peachy pink. Hmm. Yeah. It's a bit itchy, but I like the color of it. So much fun tonight. I hadn't been to a hockey game, like I said, in forever. First, it was really nice to see Alicia. Thomas's EA hung out with us, which was really fun. And I just, like, the quality of the game, not necessarily, like, the play itself, because I don't know how, they're all, I think they're always really good. <laughs> but, like, the quality of the show that the arena put on was really good. So, really fun. Thomas, right asleep. I think it's nine o'clock. Uh, we've been home for about a half an hour. I was gonna do my nails tonight, but I have last weekend's laundry to put away and this weekend's laundry. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put on some Netflix, put away the laundry, and go to bed. A rip roaring Saturday night in the Redhead Mare household. <laughs> but I'm really happy. This was a really good week. Really good week. Yeah. Yeah. So thanks for being a part of it. Lace up and become a marathoner. Subscribe to my channel. Life's not a sprint, it's a marathon. I take Sundays off, so I won't be vlogging tomorrow, but I'll be back with you on 
Monday, but I'm always hanging out on social media. It's at Redhead Mayor everywhere. If you want to join the Facebook group, there's a link below. We would love to have you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.